Hello everybody, welcome back to another Pocket Rising 2 video. Today I'll be bringing you a video which is locations for most of the rare cosmetic spawns that are on the map. Uh, this was something that was asked for a lot in the comments on my last video. So in this video, I will be breaking the spawns into two different parts, which are cosmetics that have a full outfit and cosmetics that are just one piece. Also, I'll be adding timestamps in the description for each cosmetic or outfit. Anyways, let's get into the video. So the first set of cosmetics I'm going to start off with are going to be the cosmetics that don't belong to a specific outfit. The first two that I'm going to start off with are going to be the Fur Hat and the Ushanka, which have a, the same spawn. If you come to the southeast side of volcano island to the mansion you're gonna go inside and you're gonna go up these stairs and take a left you're gonna go up the ladder and you're gonna go through this door and through this door again and it's gonna spawn right here on top of this bed so the next cosmetic is gonna be the balaclava and the balaclava actually spawns here at the mansion as well once you're inside the mansion you're gonna go take the first right inside of this library and it's gonna spawn right here on the bookshelf so the next cosmetic I'm going to show you is the Green Beret, and the Green Beret actually spawns at the military airfield inside of this building. Uh, inside the building, you're going to want to go upstairs, and you're going to take a right inside of the bedrooms. And to be honest, I really forget where it spawns in here, but it, either spawn, it might spawn on top of this table right here, on this bed, or just look around, you'll see it lying around somewhere. So the next hat's going to be the Red Beret, and the Red Beret is actually going to spawn inside of this warehouse at the military airfield. Uh, anyways, ignore that. Uh, we're gonna come inside the warehouse, and we're gonna go up these stairs, and we're going inside this office room, and it spawned, actually. It's gonna be right here on top of this table. Next up's gonna be the wizard hat, and for the wizard hat, you're gonna wanna come to the university, and you're gonna wanna go to the auditorium building right here. And inside the auditorium building, you're gonna find in this corner right here is where the wizard hat's gonna spawn. So next up, we have the number one soda hat, and the number one soda hat actually spawns here at the dormitory at the, uh, university. So once you're in the dorms, you're going to go to the top floor, and you're going to go all the way down to the hallway to the second to last room. And you're going to find that sometimes in this room, a bunch of drinks could also spawn, and also the number one drink hat's going to spawn on the bed right here. The next hat we have is the snorkel mask, and the snorkel mask actually spawns with the oil rig. You want to come to the oil rig, and it's going to spawn right here on the dock. So another spawn location for the snorkel is actually going to be here at the Crater Lake Resort. Uh, right here on the map and you're gonna come to the back where the pool is and it's gonna spawn right here in the pool another hat that we have is the durag and the durag actually spawns with the oil rig as well what you're gonna do is when to come to the oil rig you're gonna go up these stairs once you come up the stairs you go behind you you're gonna follow this hallway you're gonna enter here and then you're gonna take a left and the durag's gonna spawn on the shelf right here so another hat's gonna be the straw hat and the straw hat actually spawns inside this building at fairview you're gonna go up the stairs out back and you're gonna see that it spawns right here in this room with the artist canvas on the table right here Another rare hat is going to be the sombrero and the sombrero. Another rare hat is going to be the sombrero, and this, uh, I couldn't actually find too much on this one, but assuming it's the same as the last map, it's going to spawn inside of this restaurant building on one of these tables here. Uh, this restaurant is specifically located in Fairview. So the sun mask could also spawn in Fairview right here at this bank. So you're going to go inside the bank and you're going to go to the back and into the vault and the rising sun mask is going to spawn on the ground right here. So the Soviet gas mask could spawn here on the monastery island, which is located on the northwest part of the map on this small island right here. And you're going to go inside the monastery and, and the gas mask is going to spawn right behind the pedestal. So the next cosmetic is going to be the Rasta hat and the Rasta hat actually spawns here at the airport. You're going to want to come to the back side of the airport and you're going to want to find this entrance right here and you're going to go inside of this entrance and it's going to take you out to this little waiting room and you're going to find that on this bench right here the Rasta hat is going to spawn. So the next hat is going to be the Pith hat and the Pith hat actually spawns here at the observatory. So you're going to want to find this warehouse or garage building and you're going to go inside and you're going to go up the stairs into this room right here and it's going to spawn right here on the table. So the next hat is going to be the pirate hat and the pirate hat actually spawns here in Salem. Uh, you're going to want to find this little laundry mat building. And you're going to want to go to the back room, and you're going to find that on the chair here, you're going to find an eye patch as well, I guess. Alright. Uh, so, uh, with the eye patch, you could also sometimes find the pirate hat then. So, the paper hat could spawn at the school in Ashland right here. If you take the back entrance, and you enter this first classroom right here, it's going to spawn in this classroom. So, the second half of the video is going to display where you can find some of the rare outfits, like the clown outfit, or the German outfit, or even the plague doctor outfit. So, the first outfit is going to be the clown outfit, which actually spawns here at the school at Ashland also. When you take the main entrance, you're going to want to take a right, and then take your next left, and it's going to spawn right here on this cafeteria table. The next outfit is going to be the admiral outfit, which spawns here at the military airfield, at the tower. You're going to climb the tower to reach the second to last story, and you're going to find that on this desk right here is going to be the admiral outfit. So the next outfit is going to be the airliner outfit that was recently added, and that actually spawns here at the airport. 
Uh, once you come to this little side with all the hangers, you're going to enter from this door, and you're going to find out that it's going to spawn right here. The next outfit is going to be the chef outfit, and the chef outfit spawns in these restaurant buildings like this. Uh, you can find multiple of these around the map, but uh, for example, this one is in Ashland. You're going to head to the back of the building, and you're going to find that it's going to spawn on this little counter right in the middle. Next outfit is going to be the colonial outfit, which actually spawns here in Ashland as well. You're going to find your way to the laundromat, and once you get to the laundromat, you're going to find that it's going to spawn on top of one of these railings here. So these next outfits aren't specifically rare outfits, but they do have specific spawns, and that's going to be the military and the desert camo outfits, and they actually spawn in uh, warehouses just like this that you can find all over the map. For example, this one is on the north coast of Ashland. Once you go inside the warehouse, you can find that it's going to spawn right here somewhere on the floor, like this green tactical sweater. So the next outfit is going to be the German army outfit, and the German army outfit actually spawns on the southern coast of Ashland right here. Uh, if you find your way to this place, you're going to find this little shoreline with a cave in it. If you enter the cave, you're going to find this little hut. And inside the hut, on the floor right here, you're going to find the German outfit. So for this next outfit, the hazmat outfit, you're going to want to come to the volcano. And inside of the volcano, you're going to want to go to the, one of these trailers here. Inside one of these trailers, right under this yellow crate, you're going to find that the hazmat outfit could spawn. So another spawn location for the hazmat suit is actually going to be on, at the oil rig. Uh, if you find your way to the helipad all the way at the top, on top of this green crate right here, you can find the hazmat outfit. The next rare outfit is going to be the hustler outfit, which spawns here at the Crater Lake Resort again. Uh, if you come upstairs to this little hotel room on the right side, you're going to find that it spawns right here on the bed. So the next outfit is actually a fan favorite, and that's going to be the ghillie suit. Currently, the ghillie suit could spawn at any of the three helicopter crashes on the map. Uh, for example, this one is northwest of the Crater Lake. The outfit itself actually spawns on one of the crates outside of the helicopter, whether it's this one or this one, I'm not really sure, but I'll uh, keep an eye out. Another helicopter crash location is actually on the southern side of the volcano here. And finally, the last helicopter crash is found just north of the university right here. The next outfit is going to be the Plague Doctor outfit. The Plague Doctor outfit spawns right here at Salem at the church. Inside of the church, you can find that the Plague Doctor outfit will spawn right here. Also, the majority of the time of entering Salem Church, you will find a zombie that is dressed as the Plague Doctor. Killing the zombie is actually very hard, and he may stun you and kill you. But be careful, if you do kill him, he does have a 10% chance to drop the Plague Doctor outfit. So the last rare outfit is going to be the World War II outfit, and the World War II outfit actually has two spawns. One of the spawns is right here in the military airfield at the warehouse again. Inside of this warehouse that you're going to find on the bottom shelf, you're going to find the outfit. The second spawn location for the World War II outfit is actually going to be in these gun stores right here, for example. This one is in Hastings, and there's also one in Fairview. Inside the store, you're going to find that on the shelf right here that you can find the outfit. So that about wraps it up for the video. Thanks for watching, and if there's any other outfits that I missed or any mistakes that I made, please feel free to leave a comment to correct those mistakes. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and also subscribe. I'll be posting a lot more videos often now. Anyways, thanks for watching.